Good morning. I'm Tony Paraka, Field Applications Engineer with Kodo Technology. Today I want to introduce you to a new line of magnetic sensors based on tunneling magneto resistance from Kodo Technology. These sensors bring significant advantage to product design. Let's talk about the analog output sensor first. So this would be an RR111. To look at the output of an analog output sensor, let's walk over to the chart and also look at the output from the sensor on the demo board. This is the output profile chart of Kodo Technologies analog output TMR sensor, such as the RR111. On this chart, the vertical axis is the voltage output from the sensor and the horizontal axis is the strength of the magnetic field at the sensor in the direction of its sensitive axis. On the right side is field from a south pole of the magnet and on the left side is magnetic field from the north pole of the magnet. The green line shows the output from the sensor. What we see here is at zero magnetic field strength the output of the sensor is at one half the applied uh, supply voltage, which is usually called as VDD. The green line here represents the output voltage from the analog sensor. One thing to note here is at zero magnetic field, the output from the sensor is at one half the power supply voltage to the sensor VDD. That also means the output of the sensor is ratio metric which means the output varies with the applied power supply voltage as well as the magnetic field. What this profile also says is as a south pole magnetic field strength at the sensor increases, the output of the sensor increases until it reaches VDD and then it flattens out for higher field strengths. At the same time, if a north pole magnetic field is applied to the sensor, the output voltage drops from one half VDD towards zero volts and then it flattens out at some point of magnetic field strength. The slope of this line is the sensitivity of the sensor. These sensors are available in different sensitivities to address different application needs. With this output profile, this sensor can be used to measure the distance from the sensor to the magnet because after all, the magnetic field from a magnet drops off as you move away from the magnet. That same property can also be used to measure the rotation of the magnet on an end application. Let's look at this on the demo board, how the sensor operates in real life. The output of the analog sensor is a voltage output. The voltage output is proportional to the field strength from the magnet. For this demonstration, I have a cylindrical bar magnet. The silver side is a north pole and the black side is a south pole. As the north pole approaches the sensor, the output voltage drops towards zero volts, as shown by the LEDs. When the south pole is brought towards the sensor, the output voltage increases towards VDD, as shown by the LEDs. Because the output of the linear sensor increases with the south pole magnetic field and decreases with the north pole magnetic field, it can be used to measure angle of rotation of a circular magnet as in this case. This round magnet has a north pole on the silver side and a south pole on the black side. When the poles are presented to the sensor alternately, the output changes, as shown here. In this case, with the south pole, the field is at VDD, or at a maximum. As the north pole is presented to the sensor, the field drops towards zero. Therefore, the output of the sensor is proportional to the angle of rotation of the magnet. The linear sensor can also be used to measure linear position of a magnet. As this magnet alternately presents a south pole and the north pole to the sensor, the output goes from high to low. Therefore, the output of the sensor is proportional to the linear position of the magnet. For more information on these sensors, please visit our website www.kotorelay.com. You can download data sheets, application notes, and more information about these sensors. When you're ready to do your product design around these sensors, and you're faced with questions about how to optimize the use of sensors, how to select the right magnets, please reach out to us. We are more than happy to work with you. Please send us an email at appsupport at 
will respond to you straight away and help you along your way. Thanks so much.